Hey friends, it's Mari. I'm back today with another project for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm going to be using the awesome No Peeking stamp set and you can just see the stamp set here with all of the really cool uh, different uh, shapes here. We've got some ribbons and some bows, some little tags and some sentiments that can be stamped inside that tag. Super, super cute. And there's also a coordinating die set that you can purchase separately and absolutely love how these coordinate together all of the different options that you can do with this stamp set. It's so versatile. I do really love this. Now, what I did was I took a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I trimmed it at seven inches. And so you can just see here, I've got a seven inch strip of cardstock. I'm going to score that at 3.5 or in half. And that's going to be my card base today for my slimline cards. So you'll just watch me here going ahead and scoring that with my uh, Teflon bone folder here in my scoring tool. And I'll get that all ready to go and I will set that aside with that remaining uh, bit of paper there from the cutoff that I trimmed off of there. I'm actually going to use that for my card front. And what I'm going to do there with that piece of leftover cardstock is some ink blending with three different colors of Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to be using the awesome Palm Blender and some of the uh, Honey Bee uh, blenders that have the handles. And I'm working on my Waffle Flower Media Mat, which I really love because um, it is silicone and it does hold that paper down and in place when you're blending. Now I'm going to use the palm blender with my candied apple uh, distress oxide ink here. I'm going to do a really really heavy blend with that so you're not going to see me do all of all of this on camera but I just keep adding more and more ink until it's just this really really solid opaque color and now I'm taking some aged mahogany distress oxide ink as well. I'm going to go ahead and add that around the edges of that candied apple which I think just looks that aged mahogany just kind of adds that little bit of depth around the outside edges. And I'm just going to continue to add that to the edges there. I'm going to just use that post-it note to hold my paper down a little bit more um, steadily there and just going to keep going there. It's nice that the paper doesn't completely slide around though because of that silicone mat. I really like how that works and I'm just going to keep blending that aged mahogany onto the edges to give that depth in the color and I'm just using my like I said my honeybee stamps blending brush here for this part of the process. I only have one of the palm blenders and then I do have several of the other regular uh, blending brushes from honeybee stamps. Now I'm going to go back to the candied apple and just intensify that a little bit and blend it into that aged mahogany area a little bit as well and just really loving how that's looking. I'm going to grab another brush and I'm going to use that one for the black soot and you'll just see how this adds just a little bit more depth and color. If you don't like the chalky look of the Distress Oxide for this process you could definitely use Distress Ink and you would end up with a more bright, uh, more brilliant kind of look, uh, less, less chalky, but I just like the opaque nature too of the Distress Oxide inks. Now that I'm all done that, I'm going to take some Silver Perfect Pearls and I'm going to water that down with my uh, small wa uh, watercolor brush here. And then I'm just going to splatter that on. This is actually called Pewter this perfect pearls and it just I'm going to be doing silver accents on my card here today and so I'm just watering that perfect pearls down and it's just going to create this really nice dimensional kind of um, effect on my distress oxide ink so I really like that now I'm taking a piece of craft cardstock this is actually Nina desert storm cardstock I'm adding my anti-static powder tool to that because I am going to heat emboss those bows from no peeking I'm actually going to do all of the bows here I'm only going to end up using one but I wasn't sure how many I wanted to use on this project so I thought oh I might as well just go for it and stamp out all of them and then I'll have some extras for other projects I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool to melt that silver over embossing powder that now is sticking to that sticky embossing ink and you can just see how pretty those look now this is the um, blank slimline sentiments blanket die 
And this is a really cool die. It's going to leave kind of like a little fringed edge. That fringed edge ended up being a little bit too wide for my card and I trim it off, but you'll see that here in a minute. I am going to put down a piece of that Nina Desert Storm cardstock on my card base to be sort of like my card front. And then my Distress Ink blending will go over top of that and that craft will just be a little frame. Here you can see I've die cut out the Mary buzzword in silver and in craft. And there's that Mary buzzword stamp set, which I love. And I'm going to use one of those sentiments from that stamp set to complete the sentiment for the front of my card. There I'm just showing you the two pieces from the three piece Mary buzzword set that I use to layer my sentiment, the silver glitter paper on the craft. And there you can see, I've also got one of the sentiments from that stamp set trimmed out. I am going to go ahead and pop up my Distress Ink background here onto my card base with some foam adhesive. And you can just see there, I cut those um, strips from no peaking that are like the ribbon strips from silver glitter glue. And there's a little die that's part of the, not glitter glue, sorry, glitter paper. <laughs> and there's a little die that's part of the no peaking set that completes the center knot on that bow. And I cut that from some silver glitter paper as well. Now I did actually cut the little foliage pieces from the lovely layers acorn dies and I just love those I've used those I've used that die set so many times in my Christmas card process and I just thought it would be fun to add some of that little um, spruce tree or uh, you know tree foliage in silver glitter by that ribbon there and now you can just see I'm starting to layer up my sentiment here I'm adding a little bit of the honeybee stamps liquid glue tube there to that glitter paper again and I will link up to all of these different products that I used including this silver glitter paper that uh, honeybee stamps does carry in the shop I'm going to use some foam adhesive to go ahead and adhere my sentiment strip to the word Mary and the sentiment there is holiday season so the entire sentiment is Mary holiday season and I love that I think that's so pretty and I love how this slimline card looks like a present uh, I think it's really cool I love the slimline the dimensions of a slimline card I think it's just really cool and I am going to be using a craft slimline envelope from my stash for this card as well so that the recipient will receive that in that craft envelope i am just spritzing my card in my splat box with a little bit of a silver shimmer spritz it's a sheer shimmer craft spritz from imagine crafts and i'm also going to be adding some of the farm uh, gemstones from the recent release in silver just to add a little bit of final bling to my card so look at all of that sparkle and shine i absolutely love how this turned out and there's that shimmer spritz there i'm just showing you that product that i used in my splat box thank you so much guys for sticking uh, by my process today right to the very end have an amazing day don't forget to check that description box below for the links and i'll I'll see you another time here for another project for honeybee stamps stay safe stay healthy bye bye